What I do to keep my man? Babe, I want to have a three-way. You want to go to a swinger party? Yo, what are you... <laughs> Men are cheaters. No, but that's not even cheating at that point. I know those are the things that are important to you. Yeah, because you can't really keep me if I didn't want to be here. Hey, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Elevate. My name is Jessica. My name is Darwin. And today we're going to talk about some trending news. Oh, yeah. How <laughs> trending is it? We're going to talk about what I do to keep my man. Oh. <laughs> what I do to keep my woman. <laughs> so on Instagram... If you guys don't follow us on Instagram, for those of you listening, it's Jessica underscore Nunez underscore TV. Underscore Darwin dot Nunez underscore. And we posted a video, a short, that was reflecting uh, a little piece of the conversation that we had with Brenda Raquel when she was here with us. Show them the clip. Women want so much from a man and they want the man to be faithful and loyal and stay just with you for so many years. But what are you doing to keep him home? I think that at first you go into a relationship because obviously it has to be a two way street. But as I personally feel that as you get deeper and deeper into a relationship with this person, the love just grows. And right. sometimes, you know, what you thought you absolutely needed from this person ends up being something that's not such a big deal. And you just end up helping that person along the way. Because, listen, life happens. Things are not perfect. You're not always going to be the perfect wife. He's not always going to be the perfect husband. But as long as there's respect, communication, and real authentic love there, you can overpass anything. Right. But first, you have to go through the first stages of getting right. to know that person and falling in love. <laughs> okay. So if you guys go to the comments, it became spice a war zone <laughs> because obviously she's sitting here and she's asking me what I'm doing to keep my man. And so first things first, I want to clarify. You can't. It's true. Some of the comments that I read are absolutely correct. There is nothing you can do to keep a man. Your man has to want to be kept like he wants to. He has to want to be in a serious relationship in order for him to stay. That is obvious. I didn't think we had to clarify that. I mean, I think that's like common sense. Vice versa, though. What do you mean? For a woman, too. Oh, like for a, sure. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Anybody. Like, you. there's nothing in the You could be the nicest, the sweetest. You can be that woman. I've seen it done many times. That woman that goes above and beyond for her man trying to save her marriage, trying to save her relationship because of her kids or whatever her reasoning is. And this man doesn't change. Like, I've seen it over and over again where that happens. You know, the, the woman or the man caters so much to this woman or man. And the other person doesn't change for anything. Why? I mean, you, you can technically keep somebody that's very materialistic. If you're just feeding well, them money. Well, if you don't care for yeah. how the relationship, for having a quality relationship, if you don't care for having someone who respects you, of course you can keep someone, you know, I guess, I, with their own, I guess with their own rules. Um, that's how I keep Jessica. I just buy you everything. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next. Let's move on. <laughs> um, so... Of course, I had to name this video. We had to name this video what I do to keep my man because it 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 triggered some people. So um, how do you keep me, Jessica? I, Tell listen, the people what you what you do. What's the trick? I think the main the key components into us having such a successful relationship. For those of you who don't know us that deep, we've been together for eleven years, living together, and we've been married legally for six. Um, so it's been quite some time. Um, and it's it hasn't always been freaking rainbows and butterflies. But we do have whatever hurdles we had at the beginning. Really, most of it happened at the beginning of our relationship. Yeah. Um, I was very clear about what I wanted, what I was looking for in a person. I did see potential in him. Um, and we did meet very, very young. We were only 32 years old. We met when we were 16 years old. So I, mean, I was reckless. He, I was reckless. <laughs> I, I gave him some grace because, I mean, I wasn't super perfect either. You know, we both had a lot of growing up to do. We met as teenagers. That obviously isn't going to be the case for everyone out there now who's maybe 30 years old or, you know, in their 30s, maybe in their 40s, whatever. 
Um, that's obviously probably not the case for you because you are grown adults already. And it's like you, there's a, uh, there's things that you're looking for in a person at this stage that, that aren't so forgiving, you know, as if you're meeting someone yeah. when they're teenagers. So, but for us, you know, there was a lot of things that he at one point did that I was very clear. I was very straightforward from the very beginning. And I think that's how every relationship should be. From the very beginning, you see some red flags. You see some things you don't like. Speak up. Don't just sit back and and, and pretend like everything is beautiful and nice. And in, on the inside, it's bothering you because it's just going to get worse. Yeah. And if you don't speak up, then how is that person ever going to change or know that it's bothering you? Um, but if, you know... If you see, obviously, that you speak up and that person doesn't give a damn about what you had to say, you know it's time to move on um, because you're not that important. But to, if what happens is if you don't speak up and you continue with the person, it's like it becomes a habit, right? Everything you keep doing just becomes a habit. Mm -hmm. So now if the person is reckless for, let's say, 10 years, 10 extra years because you didn't decide to speak up early on, like how it's going to be extremely difficult to break that habit right. 10 years down the line. That's why I always felt like it was very important for me to be stern about what bothered me a lot because I knew that down the line, I was not going to be able to deal with it. Like I knew that if, if it continued, if he continued to do those things that were, you know, too serious for me to just overlook, I knew at some point we were going to end up splitting up and it's like, why waste time? Like, if I know you're not going to be able to be that man I need you to be for my future children, for me as my husband, why waste time? And for me, I feel like it was more difficult because, right, like, you would give me, not, not I don't want to say an ultimatum, but, like, what you didn't like, it was an ultimatum. It was. <laughs> it was. But, you know, for me, I had to sit there and, and like, I didn't grow up with a, a loving family and like seeing my mother and my dad like happily married and I didn't know what that actually looked like so for you to tell me like hey I want this this and this I'm like like is that even possible like okay and to be clear what is it that you're talking about where did I give you the ultimatum for those who don't know what we're talking about oh what like if I wanted to choose the streets or I wanted to like be a not a house husband but you know yeah. like a, a, a husband, family man yeah, a family man and this was early on, so it was like, okay, like, I'm young. Right. But, you know, we was having a kid. We was having um, Armani, so it was like, all right, do I want to... Like, I already know what being separated, going through, like... um, Like having a dysfunctional family where your parents are, like, yeah, and like breaking with, up. And, exactly. And the kids so, are, like, back and forth. Like, he knew what that was. He grew up that way. And I, I don't know, for me, it was always like, like, I felt so hard. You know, if it happens, it happens, like, right. just because it happens. But, like, to put a child through it just because you just don't want to be smart or, like, at least try to do the right thing. But were there children, Were you, was your thought of the child the only reason why you felt that you had to get out? Like, you had to either change your ways or, like, what was, what, what was going through your mind? As in, like, what? I'm confused. As in, like, I... Like, was it just Armani? Right. Not not just Armani. Clearly not just Armani because... Uh, but you I, need to clarify that because some people do that. Well, no. Obviously, like, I, I was engaged. We was getting engaged or was engaged. We were and, engaged already. you know, we needed to get married. So, it was like, that was another step that I was like, oh, shit, like, I need to get married now. Like, I that needed to come for me that I wanted to do it. And, yeah, I mean, I'm here. <laughs> right. And very important, when he decided to turn the page and to, like, completely, like, because I was playing no games. <laughs> like, I was playing no games. I was just like, this is what I want, and if you're not going to be that person, we need to, this needs to be over. Because I always felt like, you're not going to waste my time. Like, I know my worth. If you're not willing to, if, I know my goals for the future. If you're not willing to, you know, compromise or do what needs to be done in order for those goals to become a reality, then peace. Like, I don't want to be a part of this, you know? And, and it, I was also very young. So I feel like everyone, no matter what, you should you, you should stay uh, true to yourself, you know? you We know as women what we want. Yeah. And some of us, 
you know, I've seen it over and over again where some of us settle for mediocrity because we feel like we're not going to find anything better. And you, you know how much men are in this world? Like, yeah. <laughs> like for no. for guys, too. Like, there's a lot of women in this world. Right, exactly. So going back to the video, because we're sidetracking. But before you, you skip that, like, I want people to know, like, it wasn't like I was... I said, like, okay, I'm be a family man. And it was just like, okay, like, yay. <laughs> off, or, like, we ride with white horse. Like, it was, I needed to prove that. So, like, it wasn't, it took a lot of, a, a lot of years of, yeah. like, you know, building right. trust and all that. Right. For, to get where we are. So, don't feel like it was just like, oh, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. And then it was just like, okay. Exactly. So, I told them what I wanted. I told them exactly what I wasn't liking. And from that point on, he understood the assignment. <laughs> like yeah, he I mean, totally understood I'm, I'm clap for myself yes <laughs> he totally understood the assignment and from that point on this man did a whole when at the beginning of a relationship everything was cool he used to be a dj so we used to go out a lot i used to love going out to clubs and dancing like it was my thing but as i got older obviously you know my mind started to shift on what i wanted my life to be like so this is why i had to do this and and this is why i also didn't blame him too much for wanting to be out there because this is how we were when we were really yeah. young both of us so when things started to change for me i had to communicate that with him because i felt like that's not where i wanted my life to head anymore and so he i feel like you you saw eye to eye on what I said, because it's like, I told you what I wanted. And it's like, I could feel that you took my words and you actually thought about it yourself. And you thought, and you came to the conclusion that what I was saying made sense. Yeah. And so he, from that point on, it was, he didn't look back. Like he definitely didn't look back. I, I was so proud of how, he stood there over and over, you know, whenever I, you know, I had a little like, you know, because when, <laughs> when you discover early on, when you discover like, let's say lies, even if they're little white lies, trust is broken. So as a man and as, or as a woman, if you are caught in a lie, you best believe from that point on, you cannot get upset when the other person has a little bit, is yeah, questioning like doubt, some yeah. things. You cannot because you broke that trust. So it's up to you if you know that you're serious, if you know that you actually love that person, that you want, you don't want to hurt that person, that you actually want to have a future with that person. It's up to you to um, reconstruct that trust, yeah. to, to have that person Prove have himself, trust in yeah. you again. It's all on you. You can't even get mad. So that's exactly what he did. Anytime that I would have like any question or any doubt and I would bring it up to him, like he was so transparent and that is what made me have full trust on him again. Like it, there, there aren't, I don't feel like there are any secrets with us at this point. That's why like thinking back to when there was like an old prank video. You remember when you pranked me that you found like a thong? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she had pranked me that she found like a thong and I don't know it was like the laundry or something yeah so like clearly I was like ah oh, shit like all these years <laughs> right that I've been trying to prove to this lady I'm good and she's finding this thing it's like what the hell I didn't do anything and it's like it, it put him in a spot where it's like oh my god this woman is not gonna believe yeah. me and that's the thing when you break the trust that's something that you don't want to break with your partner please if you can I know things happen, especially when you meet a person very young. But for most of our audience, I think most of our audience is in our in their late twenties or early thirties. Yeah. At this point, please don't do anything dumb to break your your partner's trust. Trust is something that is so hard to build. It's so hard. So when you break that, you are jeopardizing your relationship so much. Like you are putting so much strain on your relationship. It's yeah. not even funny. It's not even worth it. Like don't do it to yourself if you really care for your person. Um, but going yeah. back to the video. Um, <laughs> so a lot of people felt very triggered because Brenda was over here asking me. So, you know, a lot. Of, well, she was asking in general, you know, a lot of women ask for a lot of things from their man. And but what do you do to keep your man? 
you know, she was asking that question. If you've seen that podcast, it wasn't like she was asking me personally. She was just throwing the question out in In the air because she had she's following a page where they talk a lot about how women demand so much from a man, but sometimes they're not willing to give anything in return and vice versa. I think that happens also with men. You know, sometimes men expect a lot from a woman, but they aren't high quality men either. Yeah. And so, ooh, like, people got so triggered by her sitting here and saying, what are you doing as a woman to keep your man? And let me just say that (laughs) I do think that some women aren't ready for this conversation um, because, for sure, like I said at the beginning of this video, there's nothing you can do to keep a man. This man needs to want to be in a serious relationship. This this man needs to be a high-quality man. What I mean by a high-quality man is a man who's willing to provide for his family, a man who has standards, a man who has values, a man who's loyal, a man who's respectful when you're in or out the room. Those are qualities of a high-quality man. Vice versa. (laughs) Okay, so you feel the same way for women. Yeah, you can't really keep a a woman unless she wants to be there. Exactly. (laughs) You want to be here? (laughs) think so (laughs) um so for sure you cannot keep them and there's nothing you can do we've seen it over and over again what some women go head over heels for a man some men go head over heels over a woman if that woman doesn't respect you and doesn't authentically love you or have you know respect or sees a future with you there's nothing you can do to keep that person around and there's nothing that you should be doing to keep them That's not how this works. But it's always a two-way street here. Let's be clear about that. Facts. Like, I I can't, like, some of y'all got so defensive in the comments, you know, where it's like, oh, my God, why do these women, like, talk about, you know, like, what do you have to do in order to keep a man? Like, if they have to be, I get you, sister. Like, I understand. (laughs) I, we are coming from the perspective of there are women, and we cannot, we cannot deny this. There are women who expect so much from a man, and they have nothing to offer, and vice versa. You as a uh, as a man, what? <laughs> like, you want, well, a lot of men, I, I don't feel like, I don't know, you can give your input on this because you're the man, but some men want a woman who's like a housewife, who cooks for them all the time, who does their laundry, who takes care of all the stuff that has to do with the kids, and they barely do, they do the minimum. Yeah. So, it's a two-way street, people. Like, we cannot sit here, whether you're a woman or a man, and just, and feel so offended by this, because both of us have to provide something. Yes, you know, I, some people might say, well, you know, it needs to be unconditional love. Mm. Mm. There's always conditions. Facts. And as as the years go on, you know, you're in your 50s and your 60s and you've been with this person for years. You have to understand there's certain circumstances that happen, but you have history with this person. I can see your loved one gets sick and you now have to care for them. And they might not be so, let's say, active as they were in their youth because, you know, unfortunately... Something, you know, they got a disease or something that, you know, paralyzed them, for example, God forbid. And you have to take a lot of responsibility. That's a different story. You have history with this person. This person was there for you when you needed them. And, of course, there's different scenarios. You know, it's not one size fits all. This isn't one size fits all. Yeah, because you can't really keep me if I didn't want to be here. For sure. I'm positive of that. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I'm positive of that. Like, I, there's no doubt in my mind. This is why when we were going through our little trouble, I was so straightforward because in my mind, I'm like, I don't even care if yeah. he leaves. Because if he does leave, I'm going to be hurt. It's going to hurt me. But salí de un problema. Yeah, but I yeah. like at least I know that. Like, we're both in understanding that if any any of us wants to leave, like, we can just leave. Right. Well, not just leave, but you get it. Like, well, if you're not boy, happy. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, so it's like we're here voluntarily. Yeah. We're here voluntarily is what he's trying to say. 
he's not holding me. He's not tying me up for it's me not to my stay good, here. It's not my good looks. I'm like, <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> like, he's not tying me up for me to stay. I'm staying because I feel like he's worth it. And I hope you feel the same way. Do you? Yeah, I got a portrait of us. <laughs> um, so it's a mutual thing. Um, what do I do to keep him? I'm just respectful. I'm, what do I do? What do I do that you like, babe? I don't know if I should say this on camera. <laughs> but no, seriously. <laughs> I'm going to have him answer this. What do I do that you like? And, and the reason why we've been together for so many years. It's like, it's, it's kind of hard to explain. Because like, it's easy to just be like, oh, you're beautiful. Oh, you love me. Like, it's just like we, we click. We have chemistry. Yeah, and, and that chemistry is just like a mixture of, of everything that you're supposed to have in a relationship. Like, I feel obviously we have our defects, but I don't know, the chemistry is just there. And I think peop, even people, when they see us, they just like, you guys just look so good together. So it's hard to explain, but whatever she's supposed to do as a as a wife, as a mom, like she does it for me. Like there's no reason for me to just leave if she's doing what I, not I need her to do. But I fulfill your criteria. Exactly. She checks the boxes. OK, but you still didn't answer. <laughs> They're going to say he didn't answer. He danced around the question that what you do. Yeah. Like, what is it that you like? But I said it like everything. Be That's too vague, babe. So what you want me to say? Like, oh, she cooks for me. Uh, she no. watches the kids. Because no, uh, I really don't. That's like not a. And it's crazy because I don't know. Some men would feel like that's like a criteria for them. And it could be because everybody's different. Um, but like my husband doesn't. We have open communication. It We just work. Um, he doesn't require me to like have a full course meal for him cooked every day. He he like I we work as a team. Yeah. There's no other way to like put it. We work as a team. He's not a man who's lazy and just expects certain things to be done by me because I'm a woman. But you know. we established established this like even like way early on. Way early on. We've always been this way. And so it, we've always been open um, with that type of communication and, like, expressing what it is that, that we want from our partner, what it is that we can absolutely not. Like, what's one thing What's one thing that you would not be able to tolerate in me? That it would be, like, a deal breaker for you. You would not be here. You smoke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's, um, that's that's funny, but is that real? Oh, yeah. You don't like women who smoke? No. I feel like you could be a 20 and, like, you put a cigarette and you just, like, a zero. So I, if you smoke, I'm sorry, but. Okay. Um, No, but. How about. Oh, like, if you wasn't ambitious, like, if you had no, f like, future goals, like, if you was just, like, conforme, how you say, like, comfortable. I guess yeah. where you at, and you never wanted to like elevate. Elevate. <laughs> hey, that was good. Um, I feel like it will turn me off. So that's one of the requirements my husband had in his head. Like for his wife had to be someone who was ambitious. I'm always been I've I've always been ambitious, so we clicked with that like quickly. What else? How about not being loyal? Well, yeah, but that's like <laughs> come on. That's like, no, but like that's something that's a deal breaker. To that's something that's a deal breaker for me too. Like I, I cannot deal with dishonesty and unloyalty. Like if you're unloyal, like yeah, but that's like a, that's like a standard. Like you no, have to, to have no. Like a, Some to, people think that all men cheat. Yeah, but I'm saying some like, people think that all women are cheaters too, and that they can't be loyal, and that is not true. But I'm saying like to have a successful marriage long. Like, long-lasting, like, that has to be, like, a priority. Like, it's not, like... Some people think it's normal. This is why I'm talking about oh. it. Some people think it's normal. I mean, I guess people have their own... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, How do you like, feel about that? Well, no, nah, it don't rock on, on this side of the family, but... 
like if that that works for you in your relationship but right. you guys communicate about it like if you guys get like what they call them like hall passes <laughs> or um swinger passes then for you know. me that's a deal breaker like what but there is people like that now oh, that like you think swing, about it that have swinging like, relationships yeah Oh yeah, for sure. I know that there's people who have those type of relationships. That Kudos shit's to crazy. You. Kudos to you, but you know that doesn't work here. Like, how? What's that? You want to go to a swinger party? No. What do you? <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel about that? What do you think? What? I just can't. How would you feel about that if I told you, babe? I want to have a three way. Like a swinger party? No, just one extra person. Nah, like I can't see my wife just getting. <laughs> Slut it out. <laughs> that, to me, I can't even fathom. I cannot, the thought of that, and I know for some people it's well, what like, if I asked? Hell to the no. I just, I could not. It's just not in me. Is it the same, like, I don't know, I feel like guys, it's, it's harder like, I for. I love you. Like, how am I, I just. I'm saying, like, I feel like it's harder for guys to, like, watch, watch their their woman. Then I w- I wouldn't say that that uh, I don't think a lot of women can deal with that. No, nah, I think it's easier on the woman than a man. Maybe, maybe because it's more like socially acceptable and... that men are cheaters. Maybe like we would be like no, but that's not even cheating at that point. Like well, that's, yeah, that's like I know I can't. That's not for me. All right, next. No, but this is interesting. It is, but a little rated R. Not saying anything. Or, right. um, yeah, I just could never. It's it's something that. It's not like a fantasy of yours. No. That's no. a lot of people's fantasies. It's it's not a fantasy of mine. I, I love you. I I don't want to share you. I feel like <laughs> one, I feel like once you open that door, like right. the first time, because it's like what happens if you do it. And the person like, you do it, the other person is like it better or like, you know, like if it like, if opens you ha- a whole but it, it potentially can open a whole can of worms. Yeah, because if you haven't done it for years, and then you like you do it, and then you like oh, wait out there, like this is better. It's like okay, eso es como eso es como dejando que el diablo entre. Yeah. that's how I see it. Letting the devil enter the room. And, and as a believer, it's obviously a no for me. Yeah. But for those who aren't believers, you know, like, okay, I get it. You live your life depending on how you feel, is what, what you think feels best to you. But for me, it's like that's, that's like letting temptation in. Like you're, you're like you're like sending your other, your significant other to cheat. Yeah. And it's just not, I don't, I don't feel... A lot of times people think that they can handle it and they get into those situations and then it ends up ugly because they, then they end up feeling like, oh, no, you know, I felt like you were with the other person more, yeah. you know, like and then the jealousy starts to kick in like and no, I feel like you're giving her more attention and it's just it's so like much you open the door. Right. It's just so much that can go wrong. And it's like, I do not want to open that. No, no, thank you. Um, but for those of you who like that, um, more power to you. Yeah. But <laughs> for those of you who are going to say, I still didn't answer the question. What do I do to keep my man? Well, first of all, my man stays because he loves me for who I am. Facts. I'm a cooperative woman. I am submissive because he makes me feel safe. He makes me feel like I can be with him. That's very important. Because I don't feel like every woman needs to be submissive to her man if he doesn't make her feel safe. I take his feelings into account, not just my own. <laughs> am, am I right? Thanks. Um, I'm loyal. I don't treat him like my personal bank account. I treat him like a human. Um, I'm respectful. I'm joking. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I'm respectful. And I always make him feel loved and respected. Can you agree with that? <laughs> Stop it. You're going to yeah. make people. <laughs> and that's it. You know, that's this what is, I feel. Those are the things I couldn't break down. I'm just, I'm not a good. I know, I know. Break you're her not. downer. I know break you're her not. Downer. Break her downer. 
But I know those are the things that are important to you, and I know that that's probably what makes you feel like you don't gotta justify. Yeah, I just I just wanted to explain to people, you know. And again, he's here because he loves me for who I am. This is truly who I am. This wouldn't, guys. This wouldn't work if if we was faking it. Like this, it wouldn't work. Yeah. Like for weekly for everything we do like you guys see we document pretty much everything we do like it just it wouldn't work for two people that are not actually happy we don't document everything we, we, I'm we're saying, the but, least documenters here like i mean we have 250 youtube videos so we oh yeah. document oh yeah. a whole lot of things yeah we do doc we have documented a lot but we didn't document everything no no nah, i mean but even still like to to put that much stuff out you know, but people still don't believe because there's a lot of fakeness out there. You know, there's yeah. a lot of actors, great actresses, and who just put out videos for content, you know, to make it seem all dandy dandy, you know. And it's not, this is not to say that we don't have our arguments here and there, you know, that I don't get sick of it sometimes. And I'm like, ah, don't bother me. I need some alone time. But at the end of the day, we always come back together at night. We kiss each other good night. We say good night. We, we, it's very hard for us to be mad for a very long time. Like, I could be a little upset because, I don't know, I'm having a bad day and I'm not feeling well. But, if anything, he makes me feel better. Like, you know, I just, sometimes I'm home alone and he gets home from work and it's like, he's all I needed to brighten my day. You know, I'm not even joking about that. But anyways. Okay, so I know that this message isn't for everyone. Um... I want to emphasize I am not a counselor. I'm not a therapist. I'm not a marriage counselor. I'm none of those things. I'm just sharing my thoughts based on how many years of experience or how many years of marriage relationship we have. Um, and I'm just sharing my thoughts, you know. So there is no right or wrong answer. These are just my thoughts on the subject. Um, I feel like we need to stop being so defensive. I feel like... Men and women need to come together. You know, I hate to say that I feel like the feminists are making us look a little bad. Um, because it's like I it hurts me to say that because I'm a female and I'm more or all about woman empowerment and you know, being a go getter. Like yeah. I'm all about that. But I hate to see the hatred you know i hate to see when you pull out a feminine card trying to be you know woman empowerment but you're stepping on the other person and i know that there's a lot of women that say oh you know we don't need men men for what if you feel like you don't need a man kudos to you this message is not for you but there's a lot of women out there who might say that and behind closed doors actually want one and they just don't know they just don't, they're lost, yeah. you know, and our message is, is one that we try to be positive. It's, it's a positivity message. It's yeah. not a message who's trying to tear down men or try, trying to tear down women where I feel sometimes there's certain groups where it's like, you're either one or the other. And it's like, we should be a group. We should complement each other. That's why I feel like there's a lot of young men who feel like, they can't find a woman who's who's good for them. And then there's a lot of women who can't find a man who's good enough for them yeah. because they're both on defense. And it's like, how are we ever going to get good relationships? There's so many good men and so many good women out there. It's just that there's so much miscommunication and so much drama that they can't see eye to eye because they're con constantly fighting with each other. That needs to stop. I feel like, a lot of women are misunderstanding men as well as there's a lot of men that are misunderstanding women. My comment section on that video, like there's some men brutally offended and they don't know me from a hole on the wall. Yeah. Like they, they just jumped into conclusions. Like there was no tomorrow. I was just like, babe, why, why, why are you, even, <laughs> why are you even answering? So they were just, you know, but no, because it's fine. Like they can have any opinion they want, but it just makes me very sad to see some people like, become so angry over something that they don't even have that much context over. Yeah. Um, but it's cool, you know. 
It is what it is. It is what um, it is. But I had said in the comment section that I was going to make a separate video about this. And this is why we're talking about it. Um, I hope that some of you who may have been in that comment section got some clarity from this video. And it's all love, people. It's all love. Um, so now can I leave? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, truth be told. My man wants to stay here because he wants to. Um, we work as a team. We're not rivals. Nice. And, yeah, if you guys have any other questions, leave them on the comments down below. We can make a follow-up video. And that's it for today's podcast. Yo como que hablé mucho de podcast. The, you, did, you, was, I could, you was venting, girl. I had a you, lot You to was say. in it. You was in it, and <laughs> I was here making sure the audio was good. Cool. So they can hear you loud and clear. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's it for today's podcast, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're here on YouTube, don't forget to hit the subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit that like button if you've come to the end of the video. Leave your comments down below. Hit that bell if so you can be notified every time we post a video. For those of you listening on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and all the podcasts, <laughs> thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to leave your reviews. Please subscribe. And until next time. Peace.